In my earlier video, I have talked about Galfor UAS system in Drosophila and how it works and with this system, with utilizing this system, how we can actually overexpress or knock down a particular gene of our interest. In this particular video, I would be focusing more on the genetics, what genetic crosses we can perform to knock down. But before beginning, just a refresher. We have a driver line one hand and we another another side we have our responder line and what happens this driver line is actually a gal4 line so it has a gal4 in the driver line gal4 is actually placed under a tissue specific promoter in order to get a special control and in the responder line the particular gene of the RNAi construct or the overexpression construct for the particular gene is actually placed in the chromosome of these uh, respondent line under a UAS control. So now we would look the genetic crosses behind it. So let's go into a new space and let's look about the genetics. So for instance if we write the driver line and let's say we want to knock down in the neurons. So we would need a neuronal GAL4 driver. And in our case, I have earlier discussed that our neuronal driver could be uh, ELAV, ELAV GAL4. So let's take the example of ELAV GAL4. So it's ELAV C155 over ELAV C155 in the first chromosome and the other chromosomes there is no manipulation so here we take uh, this thing the virgin female of this driver line another side we have to take the responder line the responder line in the responder line we have the particular construct for RNAi of uh, the particular gene we want to knock down so we have let's say the particular RNAi construct is in the third chromosome and it's under UAS control so we would write UAS gene A RNAi over UAS gene A RNAi so this is our responder so now we would cross the, between these two we would take the females from the driver line we would take some males from the uh, responder line we can do the reverse also but for instance so here we have taken the male from the uh, responder line it's a y chromosome so we have taken the males from the responder line we have taken the females virgin females from the driver line now we crossed between the two now we expect the f1 generation in f1 generation we would expect knockdown would happen so what we would do we would write the f1 configuration genetic configuration so it would be elav C155 over plus over Y or over plus and then second chromosome there is no change in the third chromosome we would get gene A RNAi over plus so actually ELAV over Y or ELAV over plus there are true prob probabilities as in the second chromosome they are both normal so second chromosome would be normal and in third chromosome here is plus and in both cases there is us gene a over rnai and us gene over rnai so only possibility is us gene rnai over plus so what happened in it is the particular configuration of our f1 male and we said that in this f1 male the knockdown happened so what actually happened here we have elav over c115 in one particular chromosome so this elav over c115 actually would produce the gal4 the gal4 transcription factor and this gal4 transcription factor is able to bind to the optim upstream activation sequence uas of this particular rnai construct and after binding that it can express this particular rnai construct and ultimately from here we would get the so-called knockdown construct the dsrna 
which in turn would be cleaved by dicer and would be processed and would create the RNAi induced silencing complex. One thing we should remember that here the driver line have the GAL4 but the driver line doesn't have the RNAi construct and respondent line don't have the GAL4 but have the RNAi construct. So in driver line stock or in the respondent line stock we won't get a knockdown of the particular gene here gene A. But when we combine these two by crossing them in one particular fly we have both GAL4 and both RNAi that is why knockdown would be happening in the F1 fly. Now question comes where the knockdown would be happening and how the tissue specific knockdown would be happening. Earlier I have mentioned that ELAV C155 is a neuron specific driver. So ELAV C155 would be expressed only in the neurons of this particular fly. And US gene ARNAI, this construct would be present in all over the body of that particular fly. But in every cell, this particular construct won't get the necessary GAL4 to drive its expression. Only the tissue where the expression of this particular RNAi construct could be driven is the neurons. That is why this particular RNAi construct would be only expressed in the neuronal tissues. And this particular gene A, the a protein corresponding to gene A would be knocked down only in the neuronal tissues, not elsewhere in the body. This is how the GAL4 and UA system is very accurate and by it we can use actually tissue specific knockdown hope you enjoyed the video if you like my video please give it a quick thumbs up share and please subscribe and don't forget to leave comments thank you